Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Techno Sage. And in this video, we are going to solve problem number 415 that is add strings. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. Given two non-negative integers num1 and num2, which are represented as string, return the sum of num1 and num2 as a string. So basically you have been given two strings num1 and num2 and we have to return the sum of both the strings. Let's see how we can solve this problem. So we have been given two strings. One is num1, which is 4, 5, 6. And another one is num2, which is 7, 7, right? So basically we have to sum both the strings. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, right? 7 plus 6 is 13. And one is carry. 7, 1 and 5, 13, so 3 and 1 is carry, 4 plus 1 is 5. So this would be your output, right? So this is your num1 and this is your num2. So let's say this is your digit 1 and this is your digit 2. So basically what are we doing? We are doing sum as digit 1 plus digit 2 digit 1 plus digit 2 plus carry, right? So in the first case, carry is 0. Digit 1 plus digit 2 plus carry, right? Again, carry is 1, digit 1, digit 2 and carry. So this is how we are finding the sum. So now in the example, you can see this number is a string. This number is a string. So first we need to extract the digits from this string, right? So we need to convert this character to an integer. So how do we convert our characters to integers using character codes, right? So basically each integer has a character code. So 0 has character code 48 and then 1 is 49, 2 is 50, 3 is 51 up to so on. So here let's say if I have to extract the digit 1, what that would be? That would be your number 1 dot char at i minus 0. This is how we convert our character to integer. So basically what is this character? This character is let's say 6. 6 minus 0. So what would be the character code of 6? 4, 5, 6. It would be 52, 53 and 54. Right? So 54 minus character code of 0 which is 48 which will give you the number 6, right? But this 6 was your character and this 6 would be your integer. This is how you need to convert each character to integer first before summing up. Once you found the digit, then you have to sum up those digits with the carry. One more thing which you need to understand here is how you will get what is the digit you found after summing and what is your carry. When you sum 7 plus 6, that is 13, right? Out of which 3 will be your value and 1 would be your carry. How will you find that? So if you do 13 mod 10, what will you get? You will get 3, right? Which is your value and if you have to get 1 then what will you do 13 divide by 10 so when you divide 13 by 10 you will get 1 which will be your carry so when you sum each digit what you need to do you need to mod that number by 10 to get the value and you have to divide that digit by 10 to get the carry at the end you can append these values to your output, right? Let's write the program for it and understand it in a better way. So this is your class that is add strings. Now let's write the method for it, which would be your public static add strings. And your inputs are string num1 and string num2, correct? And what would be your return type? That would be string since you are returning the output as a string. Let's take two pointers, one for the length of num1, right? 
and another pointer j which would be num2 dot length minus 1 correct and initially your carry would be 0 so initialize carry to 0 now let's take one string builder to store the result string builder so that you can save your output in that now let's write our loop so our loop would be either i should be equals to 0 or j should be greater than equals to 0 or carry should not be equals to 0 so here you can see i greater than equals to 0 that means digit 1 is present j greater than equals to 0 that means digit 2 is present or carry is not equals to 0 right that means there is some carry in it firstly we need to check if i is greater than equals to 0 that means digit 1 is present if i is greater than equals to 0 then your digit would be num1 dot caret i minus 0 right and what would be your digit 2 if j is greater than equals to 0 then it would be num2 dot caret j minus 0 otherwise it would be 0 and then what would be your sum sum would be your digit 1 plus digit 2 plus carry right this is how we are finding the sum and what would be your carry sum divided by 10 right so here I have shown you how we are going to get the carry which is divided by 10 and how you are going to get the sum value that would be sum mod 10. So we have taken string builder so we are going to append the result to the string builder which would be your sum mod 10. What you are going to do? So you have summed up first two digits and their carry. So move on to the next digit. So move on to the next digit means i minus minus j minus minus because move, we are moving from right to the left side. And at the end we are going to return sb dot reverse dot two string. Why two string? Because this is a string builder and we need the output as a string. Right. Let's go back to our main function. Let's take the inputs string num1 which would be your 456 and num2 which would be your 77 let's write our print statement let's call the method add strings num1 and num2 so let's run the program and see the output so we can see here the output is 533 which is a correct output. So this is how we need to solve this problem. If you have any questions, any doubts, please let me know in the comment section and also provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.